Well, hey, yogis. Today, a flow to get us connected to our inner strength and our core power. All right, let's start on the mat. And so we're going to start on our backs. And we're going to take the hands to the back of the head, interlacing the fingers. And we're going to lift the legs. We're going to cross the right ankle over the left. And we're going to squeeze the knees together. I want you to imagine that you're holding something really tiny between the knees, like a coin or a peanut. Or you can simply just squeeze the knees together if that works for you. So take a breath in. On your exhale, squeeze the knees and curl the shoulders up off the mat, keeping space between your chin and your chest. And inhale lower. Exhale again, squeeze the peanut, that coin between the knees, arising. And inhale, lower. Exhale. So that squeezing the knees together gets us connected to our inner thighs, our pelvic floor. Inhale. And we'll, we'll go for a few more here. Always using the inner strength to rise, never pulling on the neck or the head. Gently curling the shoulders up. Mm, we'll take another. Let's go for two more. Exhale, rising, squeeze the knees. And then come on down, other side. So we're going to cross that left ankle over the right. Again, squeezing the knees together. Take a breath in. Exhale, curling up. Inhale, take it low. Exhale, rising up. Keep your elbows nice and wide. Inhale. Exhale. Rising. And if you need to take a little break, take a little breather. That's, that's definitely fine. Exhale. We're going to enjoy two more. Yes, I said enjoy. So the body is being challenged, but can we keep the face very, very soft? No tension in the face. Keep the breath flowing and keep the mind cool, calm, and collected. And settling down. From here, we're going to keep the knees lifted. We're going to rest the arms by the sides. Press the big toes together. Take the knees wide. We're going to keep the, the legs open in this sort of diamond shape. And we're going to connect the hands, interlacing the fingers, forefinger and thumb pressed together. And we're going to point the fingers at the toes. Take a breath in. And on your exhale, curl the shoulders up and reach towards the toes, lifting up. Inhale, take it low. Exhale, same thing. Space between chin and chest as you rise. I'm going to go for 10 here. Exhale. Then again, if you need to take a little breather, if you need to take a moment to rest, please do so. Exhale. So the legs stay quite still here. We're not moving the lower body at all. It's all pulsations through the upper body. Stay relaxed through the face, the neck. Is anyone else counting? I think this is six. Last two. Exhale. And last one. Exhale, rising. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And let it go. Take the hands to the back of the head. Just take the legs to the sky for a moment. Stretch them out. And then bend the knees. Stack them over the hips. Last, last bit of fire here before we take it on to some standing poses. Take a breath in. Exhale, left elbow towards right knee and let the other leg extend in these core reclining twists. Inhale, center. And then exhale, the other side. Elbow towards the knee so the elbow doesn't have to touch the knee. Inhale. Exhale, just bring the elbow in that direction towards the knee. Inhale, again, keeping the face nice and free. The breath is happening, it's flowing. And we're using the inner strength to rise. We're using our inner strength to curl the shoulder up off the mat. Inhale. Exhale. And we're going to go for a few more. Exhale. And we're going to come back to center. 
Exhale, take the twist again. This time we're going to release the arms. Find that hand position of fingers interlaced, forefinger and thumb pressed together. See if you can lift the shoulder blade a little higher. Inhale, Woo, back to center. Exhale, other side, elbow to the knee, and same thing. Extend the arms, clasp the hands, lift the shoulder blade a little higher, higher, higher. And come back to center. Bring your knees in, rock up into a seated position. Did I say that was the last bit of fire? What I really meant was this was the last bit of fire, Navasana. So bouncing on the sitting bones, the base of the tailbone, you can let your legs lift. You can free your hands, but if you want to stay supported, you can. So the higher the legs go, the more challenging it will be. So just find that for yourself. Make sure you keep a nice open heart, a long spine. Do we have three more breaths in us? Last one. And release down. Nicely done, downward dog. So coming back into downward dog, and if you wanna if you wanna move around a little bit, you can. Or you can allow the body to settle. From here, we're gonna come forward into plank pose. And we're going to lower down on a five count. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going to rise to either cobra or upward dog, and we're going to hold for an extra couple of breaths, just allowing the abdominals to stretch out and to lengthen. And then take it up and back into downward dog. On your inhale, reach your right leg to the sky. And on your exhale, take it on through, knee to forehead, shoulders move over the wrist, core plank. Inhale, take the leg back. Exhale, take the knee across the body to the back of the left wrist, core plank twist. And then inhale, stretch your leg back. Exhale, take the knee to the upper right arm, squeeze the knee into the arm above the elbow, squeeze it in for one, two, three, stretch it back, and then curl the knee in, step the foot up to meet the thumb, finding your way into a nice long lunge with the knee stacked over the ankle, take a breath in, exhale, reach that right arm to the sky, twist, and let's hold here for a couple of breaths, if there's any tension in the neck, you can turn the gaze down. And then bringing the hand down. What we're going to do is we're going to step forward. So back foot steps up to meet the front foot. And we're going to find our way into fierce pose. So bend the knees, Utkatasana, sit low. I'm just going to scooch back a little bit here. And we're going to reach up. So we want to make sure that the low belly is turned on, the tailbone is long. And we're going to go into a little adventure. We're going to find our twisted Utkatasana or Paruta Utkatasana. So we're going to reach that left arm, or, or wrap the left armpit around the outer right thigh. And we're going to bring the palms to press in front of the heart. Sitting low, hips are, hips are square. And remember that peanut we, we were squeezing between the knees, when we were squeezing the, the knees together in that, in that core warm-up. This is going to come in handy. We're going to look down, so keep the twist, look down. Squeeze your knees together, squeeze them together fiercely. And then you're going to lift your left heel and pull the heel in towards your seat, in towards your bottom stork pose. So maintaining the twist, looking down and squeezing the knees together as you pull your heel in towards your seat. Nice. Set your foot down, unwind, take a forward fold. From here, plant your hands down, shoulder width apart, spread the fingers wide, and we're going to wrap the knees around the upper arms, and we're going to take Bakasana, crow pose. So the knees are wrapped around the upper arms, we're going to bend the elbows, squeeze the knees, bend the elbows, squeeze the knees, till the feet lift, toes pressed together, using all of that inner strength, that pelvic floor, and from here, back into your forward fold, take a bow. 
hands to the mat, step back into plank pose, take a breath in, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, rising cobra or upward dog, come on up, and then up and back, down dog, inhale, stretch your left leg to the sky, <clears throat> excuse me, exhale, knee to the forehead, core plank, Inhale, reach your leg back. Exhale, take the knee across the body to the back of the right wrist. And then inhale, reach back. Exhale, take the knee to the upper left arm. Squeeze the knee into the outside of the arm above the elbow. Hold for one, two, three. Stretch the leg back. Bring the knee in, step the foot forward. We're gonna take it into a lunge, twist. Reach your left arm to the sky, we'll hold here. And then hand comes down. And we're gonna step that back foot up. So we're gonna meet at the top of the mat into a forward fold. And again, I'm just gonna walk back a little. So we're gonna bend the knees, sit low, Rise up, Ferris Pose, Utkatasana. And then we're gonna wrap that, that right armpit around the outer left thigh. Hands come into prayer at the heart center, sitting low, hips square. Now here we go, using that core power to balance. So we're gonna look down, keep the twist, look down. You're gonna squeeze your knees together. And then you're gonna begin to lift that right foot Pull the heel in towards your seat. Squeeze your knees together. Keep looking down. One more breath. And nice. Touch your hands down. Let your foot relax into a forward fold. Bakasana. Take the hands to the mat. Wrap the knees around the upper arms. Squeeze the knees together. Bend your elbows. Let your feet rise. Bring your big toes to touch. And then forward fold. If you wish, slide your hands underneath your feet. Hasta Parangustasana. Press down with your feet. Lift up with the hands. And fold. Releasing. So there you have it, a very, very strong flow today, get us, getting us connected to our core power, all of our inner strength, all that fiery good stuff. So I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to stretch it out, rest, have a glass of water, whatever you need. I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Take care.